Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You and Cartier well, uh, again. Today we got another reaction video, bro. I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. We got Moha shit on the way. Duh, it's come on, bro. You already know. Keep running them numbers up, bro. We on a mission, bro. We need 5k like yesterday. Straight up. We need 5k like yesterday. Turn on them post notifications. Turn up them subscribers. Man, let's do it today. TK Kirkland watches video confirming Cat Williams claims about Steve Harvey. Hey, no, Bernie. Not the Mac. Not Bernie Mac, man. R.I.P. Bernie Mac, man. Top three straight up. Top three straight up. Could be the best, man. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in them comments, man. But we're going to get to it. Listen to this audio, right? It's an audio of Ed Lover, and he confirming that, you know, Bernie Mac told him personally that Sheesh. Steve Harvey was hating on him. And then he goes on to say... So, Ed Lover, before it even started, Ed Lover told Steve... St Steve told Ed Lover some hating ass shit. Let's get to it. That after he was supposed to be one of the new kings of comedy that they approached him after Bernie passed and they wanted to take it back out and mm. he was supposed to be a new king of comedy but he didn't want to go on the kings of comedy tour because of Steve Harvey's treatment of Bernie Mac he has a lot of respect for Bernie Mac and I love Bernie Mac y'all know Bernie mm. Mac was a who's the man Bernie Mac was a friend of mine until he passed on when I tell you one dude that has never, ever, ever changed, y'all have heard me say this before, is Bernie Mac. Love Bernie Mac. And Bernie, the stuff that he said, Cat Williams said about Steve Harvey calling to try to get Bernie's role on Oceans mm. and that kind of stuff, Bernie told me out of his own mouth. Jeez. And Bernie... I've known Bernie. Like I said, we did Who's the Man in like 91 to 92. The movie came out in 93. Okay? I met Bernie during the taping of uh, Def Comedy Jam. And I went and said, we need Bernie Mac in this mm. movie. Bernie Mac has never fronted on me. Bernie Mac has never lied to me. I believe Bernie Mac when he said Steve Harvey hated on him. Damn. What you think about Ed Lover? Bernie himself says Steve Harvey hated on him, man. That's crazy. That's from the man himself, one of his close homies. He said Bernie told him Steve was hating on him. I don't think this man, you know, y'all let me know. Do you think Ed Lover is lying, making this up? I don't think so. But that's crazy, Uh, you know. That hate ain't good for nobody, bro. We got to stop the hate, man. Stop the hating, bro. That's, it, it's kind of crazy just to hear, you know, like how how this stuff really go down in Hollywood and how people really act and, you know what I'm saying, they petty and doing all these little small things to irritate people and, and envious and jealous. Like, that ain't good, man. What do y'all think? It's him saying that, you know, Bernie Mac told him personally that Steve Harvey was hating on him. Again, I could tell you this facts, you know, I could tell you that if a man's not there to hear the story, mm. you know, you, you ever go to court and someone say, your honor, such and such said, and you know what they'll say? That's hearsay. Mm. Does have no validation whatsoever. So with that frame of mind, I wasn't at that conversation. I don't know um, that situation. I've heard in bits and pieces throughout my career mm. that Steve Harvey didn't like Bernie Mac. Mm. But that's life though. A lot of people just don't get along. People argue. So you so you don't believe it from him, but over the course of your career, you heard, you know what I'm saying, add it together, add it up. Obviously, he ain't like him. He probably was hating on him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. What do y'all think? He could be right, though. You know, that's not from Bernie himself. We ain't trying to, you know, put words in people's mouths and all that. I just want to know what y'all think. Do y'all think Steve Harvey was really hating on Bernie? 
people fight and it's just life. And if it didn't happen, it didn't happen. If um, uh, kudos to Cat if he didn't want to go on the tour to get that kind of money because that would have been a great opportunity for him to get a check. You know, mm. the thing about what people need to say, I, 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 I used to say this to people, I'm saying it now, never put emotions in front of your money. Mm. Never put money, never put emotion that you can't get that dollar. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to respect you. So you yo, you real, you real, dog. You stood up for Bernie. Because if it was <laughs> the other way around, you don't know if that person would have did the same thing for you. But it ain't about what people would do for you. You need to just stand on whoever you are. I don't change based on how somebody else treat me. I am who I am, regardless of how somebody else is. I'm going to be me. And if I got to separate and not rock with dude, then I'm going to do that. But I'm going to still be me. I'm not going to be uh, malicious or, or envious or jealous or none of them things because somebody else is. I don't know about that, TK. You might be an undercover Cat Williams hater. Y'all let me know. Is TK Kirkland a Cat Williams hater? Do you understand? Nah, I feel you. That's a good point. People always talk about you keep it real, but yeah, but would you have done it for me? And I could tell you, man, a lot of people, a lot of people say things and until the shoe's on the other foot and they don't move the same way you move. Mm. And you hurt. You're like, oh, I would have did it for you. Yeah. Don't always go like that, man. I always tell people, get the bread as much as you can without stepping on someone, if you could do that. But people step on people also to this day mm -hmm. to get the dollar. Ask a lot of people in the music industry. Ask Taraji. Ask Terrence Howard. <laughs> uh, now he people named People stepped on them and walked away with millions of their money and gave mm. them change and never cared about their feelings. Mm. Who is funnier? It happens. You know what I'm saying? It does happen. You feel me? It, it does. But you should not expect anything in return for the things that you do. You should just do it because that's who you are. You know what I'm saying? That's your heart. Like, I'm not tripping if somebody is not like me because I know I'm an individual. Most people is not like me. Yeah, we all got a lot of similarities, but like, you know what I'm saying? I am an individual. Like, you ain't got to be like me. I can accept you for who you are, and that don't make you less of a man or this or that because we different. You know what I mean? So people be taking it a little too personal. Like, but you got to be who you are and stand on them principles. Part of your Bernie Mac to you. Mm, oh, Bernie Mac for sure. Yeah, it's hands down. And ask me who's funnier than Steve Harvey and Bernie Mac. Who's funnier than Steve Harvey and Bernie Mac? Me. Man. T to the mother fucking K. And that came out of Bernie. Who is this dude, man? Bernie probably trying to stroke your ego, man. Pause, dog. Man, nobody, you is not funnier than them, bro. Stop it. Probably funnier than Steve Harvey, but you not funnier than Bernie Mac. Stop it, dude. X mouth when we used to do his club in Chicago. Right? But that's hearsay. Cap. That's hearsay. But that came out of his mouth. But oh, oh, listen to me. Every comic in this business, every comic, if you know stand up, if you know stand up comedy, they would tell you, TK Kirkland. But what most people do, if they bring mm -hmm. up TK Kirkland, if they have anything negative to say, they'll talk about the situation that happened years ago and for over 40 years ago with the Eddie Murphy, Charlie Murphy thing. If I'm real funny, they'll say, oh, TK has, you can't say this on his show, you can't say that on his show because mm -hmm. it's my show and I know how a show is supposed to be produced. So mm -hmm. when I do my shows, I produce my show the way I want my show ran. You can only do a certain amount of minutes. You can't say certain things. So since I saw that was hurting people, <laughs> hurting their feelings, well, guess what? I'm so cold, I do this by myself. So I do a one-man show. Mm. I have a DJ. The DJ says, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for TK Kirkland. I go on stage, and then I get all the money. 
Mm. You got to be cold to do that, bro. Hey, man, I ain't going to lie. It sound like TK on a press run right now. He just big up in himself and all that. I don't believe Bernie Mac said that TK Kirkland was funnier than him. That's cap. And if he did, he probably was playing around joking. For real, for real. But TK just on a little press run. You see what he doing. Uh, but, yeah, it's Cartier. You in Cartier World. Let me know what y'all think in them comments.